Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be a quick unboxing video uh, of the uh, Yeti X. This is the uh, World of Warcraft edition. Now, the only reason I got this, and I haven't played World of Warcraft probably since like 2005, uh, but the only reason I picked this up is because they were out of the Yeti X, uh, the standard one. Uh, so this one apparently has customizable lights uh, and different sounds apparently. Uh, but apart from that, it's, it's essentially the same as the standard Yeti X, but we'll take a look anyway. And then I will, uh, I will give it a try, uh, either today or in may maybe in my next video. I'm not exactly too sure, but if I can just cut the tape, there we go. Let's take a look here. So it's actually a pretty nice box. Okay, so that's it, nothing else in there. I don't have one of those cool knives like other YouTubers have where they, they kind of like a butterfly knife. I do have my trusty shears. All right, so it comes with this foam uh, covering, this foam protector for the microphone itself. This thing is not cheap. Uh, and here in Canada, this ran me about $230, I believe it was, from Best Buy. So that foam piece. And right off the bat, I just want to say um, it, it feels really, really sturdy, as you can see. It, this is, like, I don't know if you can hear it, but that is definitely a, a heavy base, very sturdy material. Uh, I've never bought a, a blue microphone. I have owned one in the past, so it was given to me as a gift, but uh, this is a very nice microphone, just to say. Like I said, I'm, I'm actually uh, using the uh, Electro Voice RE20, but it's going to be nice to have something I can move around. And this will be great for that. So, obviously the microphone in the box. And then it comes with this USB cable. And it, of course, it's uh, micro USB. So, come on Logitech, get with the times here. Should be everything, should be running US, uh, or USB-C at this point. So, there is the manual. I'm sure everything else you need is online. So, you probably won't get too much information. But this kind of tells you the... Uh, the diagram type of the, the microphone. Uh, cardioid is pretty much the standard use, uh, but I'll probably try them all out and see uh, what I like the most, but mostly it's probably just gonna be the standard cardioid uh, polar pattern, so you, you're not picking up a lot of room noise. And that is everything in the box, I believe. I think I see something at the very bottom here. Uh, it's just those little plastic beads to keep it from getting ruined over time. So that's the microphone. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a better angle of it here. As you can see there. But I'm actually going to go ahead and plug it in and, uh, and see how it looks. Hey guys, so here is the microphone. I got it plugged in just to show off some of the lights on the front and the back. So here you have your mute and your volume. And I do believe there's also a setting here where you can actually change uh, the voice effects for in-game for World of, uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> and then on the rear here you have your, your pattern button as well. And this is actually just to change uh, the directional configuration of the microphone itself. Uh, but it definitely looks really nice and it feels really sturdy. If you're going to get into blue microphones and you're really serious about streaming or podcasting, I think that if you're going with the Blue Yeti or the Blue Yeti X, you can't go wrong. It's not the greatest sound, but it's definitely up there. So yeah, I definitely give this a recommendation if you're okay with the aesthetic appeal of it. Thanks for watching, everybody.